There's one James Bond game coming out this year that's got 007 fans polishing up their golden guns in anticipation. Sadly, Bloodstone 007 is not that game. While Wii and DS owners are being treated to a remake of one of the most beloved console shooters of all time in GoldenEye 007, Xbox 360 and PS3 owning Bond fans have to make do with a consolation prize in the form of a third-person shooter from Project Gotham Racing creators, Bizarre Creations. As far as consolation prizes go, this is about as comforting as an open-mouth kiss from Dame Judi Dench. I put my trust in Bond. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Dench and Daniel Craig reprise the roles of M and Bond in Bloodstone 007, while pop singer Joss Stone steps in as the token Bond girl. And those are basically the only obligations to the Bond license that this game fulfills. There are no memorable villains, no signature gadgets, and the only moment even vaguely resembling any form of fan service is the time you get to briefly step behind the wheel of the Aston Martin DB5 from Goldfinger, albeit for no apparent reason. Otherwise, this could be any other bog-standard third-person shooter with Daniel Craig's expressionless face smeared across it. The plot has you chasing biochemical terrorists across a handful of exotic locations in Europe and Asia, and at times the game can be quite visually striking. But unfortunately, such moments are both fleeting and few and far between. And Bloodstone's five-hour campaign is mostly padded out with repetitive firefights against brainless henchmen in bland concrete environments. <laughs> The main hook to Bloodstone's otherwise generic cover-based combat is its Focus Aim feature, which is basically a carbon copy of Splinter Cell Conviction's Mark and Execute system, only in this case it doesn't really present any genuinely strategic benefits to the gameplay. For every melee takedown you perform on an enemy, you're awarded a Focus Aim, and you're able to store up to three of them at any one time. When activated, the Focus Aim mechanic allows you to swiftly dispatch enemies with a few quick button taps. On the game's lower difficulty levels, focus aim is entirely unnecessary thanks to the Call of Duty style targeting that automatically snaps to an enemy each time you zoom in, making it easy to pull off headshots regardless. But even on the higher difficulty levels without the aim assist, there's no real gameplay reward for being stealthy, so while focus aim might be a slightly more stylish way to dispatch enemy goons, it's far from essential. Bond's smartphone can be used to display your current mission objective in the HUD, along with the location of enemies in your vicinity even if they're concealed behind walls. But that's as close as you'll come to getting your hands on any kind of gadget, otherwise your tools are an assortment of samey assault rifles and shotguns, and the odd grenade launcher. Strictly as a shooting experience, Bloodstone can only be described as lacking. But when you're not shooting cookie cutter enemies or staring at your smartphone like a bored teenager, you're speeding along in sports cars and power boats in one of the handful of vehicle-based sections in the game. These high-octane interludes are easily the standout portions of the single-player campaign. It's too bad then that the vehicles are entirely absent from the game's online multiplayer component, which consists of just three uninspired match types, Team Deathmatch, Objective, and Last Man Standing. As far as multiplayer experiences go, Bloodstone seems very much like a last minute afterthought and is unlikely to extend the lifespan of the game by more than an hour or two. Bloodstone is not a bad game, it's just a painfully average one. There aren't any noticeably broken elements to it, but just because it's relatively polished doesn't make this particular stone a gem. There really isn't anything at all remarkable about it. If Goldeneye is indeed the Sean Connery of Bond games, then Bloodstone is the George Lazenby. It won't leave you feeling shaken nor stirred, just shortchanged. For more on Bloodstone 007, be sure to check IGN.com.